Hey, we're back here. I guess we're not going to find the weak spot then. Or not yet. Maybe there'll be a later, tw like, mid-chapter peach thing? Thank you, Mario. At last, I can head home to Star Haven. My name is Mamar, so nice to meet you in person, Heart. You've still got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you, Heart. There's a pres- here's a present for you. Mario's star energy goes up by two. Two two. Different from up by two. Mario can now use Lullaby, a new star spirit power. With Lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. Call on me when the times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I am a star spirit after all, heart. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. For now, I'm going back to recover in Star Haven. Who knows how my dear old Star Haven is faring without the Star Rod. Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. Dancing heart. Got it. All better. Probably already was better. It's fine. All right. We're level five. I got two star energy. They're different colors now. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, that's going to get long. It's going to be seven stars long eventually. There's a whole meter to lay, it, lay out the space where they're all going to go. Hmm. Got my letters to deliver, so I guess we'll do that next. On my way back. Yeah, let's go talk to the explorer, I guess. Nope. 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 What did I unequip again? Oh yeah, the damage dodge what I was going for before I took off the spike shield. Yep. Gotta increase the damage reduction. Uh, go away! I don't like you! That I'll teach him. Dead. Uh -huh. Oh, that was slower than I expected. No, I just did it a moment ago. Oh, there we go. Give me one more point. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I connected today. Oh, there's a lot of them. There are many. Yep. Why? Why can't I get it? Right at all. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. I feel like I'm pressing at the right time, so it's kind of driving me crazy. There we go. That's why I did it. No amount of FP or HP used was going to matter because I was going to get it all back.
Why is there a little heart there? Is that, are they saying that's the most recommended thing to do? I wonder. Hmm. I haven't got health for a bit. It's rough because they're all, they're all definitely useful stats, but I definitely constantly just want to increase my badge points so I can equip a ton of badges because badges are strong and versatile and do all these weird things. So I just want to equip as many badges as possible. But I'll, I'll get in trouble though if I just exclusively upgrade that one stat probably. Ah! Now I'm, I'm, I'm done with you guys, go away. 100%! My coins! Not my two coins! Let's go find the guy that wants the relic. Make him happy. Well, what a luck. No clues about the ruins. I'm getting so frustrated, I just ha might have to give up the excavation for now. How very sad. I say... Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand. It looks like... looks like... it looks quite important. Do my eyes deceive me, or is it that the clue to the dry dry ruins? Mario will show my beck of you. Could you possibly part with it? Well... Cheers, Mario. Smashing, really, old boy. Soon now, the mysterious dry dry ruins will rise from the sands that concealed them. As a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so. I suppose I thank you, gift is in order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. Hey, more star pieces. You now know a bit of the magic of the desert. Che cherish the memory, old boy. We've got another star piece. We've got six. I don't remember what I could do buy with them at all, but... We have six. <laughs> That's more than less than six. <laughs> 95 coins. Probably enough to buy a badge, too. Hey there, hold up a sec, partner. Just a darn minute. I've seen you somewhere. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fellow Mario who's been on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? Ah, oh, you got me. Mario, well I'll be. If you're Mario, I reckon I've got to bust you up. I figure it's, pr it's probably a boss fight worth a bunch, of, a bunch of experience. I should probably do this. Now I'm stronger than I was the first time around, so that's neat. No. I feel like I'm pressing at the same time each time, so I don't even know when I how I'm messing it up eventually. I'm curious. This is Buzzer. He guards Mount Rugged. Wow, that's one big bird. Max HP 40, attack 3. If you get caught in the clutches of his sharp claws, you'll lose 4 HP. Try to wriggle out of his grip. His special attack is flapping his wings to create wind. His attack damages your party members too. But he was hatching eggs, wasn't he? Is it possible that he's really a she? I wonder. Are there... No. No. Party member. Now I'm solo. Well, commit. No. I'm trying. There we go. Poof. 
that. For some reason, yeah. I don't think I've, I don't think I've had to hammer the the buttons on the Wii U gamepad for, in a quick time event fashion until now, and I, I I feel like I can't quite get as many hits in as I'd want as I would want. We'll see. No. Oh, we're, we're we're getting there. At least you get an actual attack now. Yeah. Nope. I was tr I was ready for a quick time event. <laughs> that was just a real fight. <laughs> we just had a real fight moment instead. Does it work? On a boss? Yeah, right, he was falling asleep. What a loser. go. Now for big hit. Don't mess up the timing. No! Ah! <laughs> Damn it. That's the whole point. I think that was going to be eight damage. Like that would have been so big. Instead I lose. What? I, I, am I early or late? Uh, there we go. I'm changing my timing to earlier and later over and over again, and I can't tell which one's more right. And I'm just so thoroughly in my own head now about my timings of my Breton presses. I, uh, I, I can't get it. I've got the yips. <laughs> really? What? Uh. That was different. <laughs> yes. Nope. Ooh. Nope. Yes. Not that much experience. Probably because you you're probably meant to fight him sooner. Or not, I don't know. Yeah, I got whooped. Whooped, I guess. I'm not used to seeing that word spelled. Oh, there we go. Got him. Ah! <laughs> Forgot about that. Nope. I'm out of here. I'm kind of glad I broke my habit of fighting every single enemy that I had in the first zone, because these other two areas, like, there's a lot of enemies in these areas. This would take a very long time. And then my reward would be the game being like, you got three star points. <laughs> Only 40 more encounters like this till you level up. The law of diminishing returns is very strong in this one. Hey, that's one of the places. Hey! You can upgrade one of your party members. Which one do you want to upgrade? That's okay, I gotta finally give up on my... Give in to wanting to make her stronger. Now she's gonna explode harder than ever before. I might just upgrade people in the order I got them in, generally. I wonder if this is all the... 
the fact that they're giving me upgrades now makes me kind of wonder if these are all the characters. And maybe I just continually upgrade these guys. Although maybe you can only upgrade people once. Power bomb, explode and destroy all enemies on the ground. Damn. Damn. Now her bomb attack is multi-target. Ooh. Fantastic. I don't know, maybe the one upgrade is the only upgrade you ever get for a companion. In which case, there's a, there, all they have to do is have a one-to-one -one ratio between new, anim, new companions and those upgrade spots. Or nearly as one. I imagine they'd let you upgrade everybody, because it'd be pretty rough to have the one sad dude that isn't upgraded. I'm sure you could miss the upgrades, because you'd have to find them, but... If they didn't have one for all of them, then there'd just be the poor guy that just isn't as viable in combat because he doesn't have a two times multiplier in all of his attacks. Which would be a strange thing to include. Hello, sir. The train is bound for Toad Town Station. Are you coming aboard? Yeah. There's a go. All aboard for Toad Town. I started to think, is it looping? This is when it changed from desert to grass, and I was like, oh, oh, no, we'll get there eventually. Toad down, toad down. This is a surprisingly long animation. All right, I gotta turn in my plant that I, the seed that I found. I've got to do, I don't, I don't know, maybe there's a reason to care about the toad, the oinks that I'm not inclined to. Is it just my imagination? Does the weather never change in this town? Nah, I must be imagining things. Well, he looks terrified. I already cleared that, right? That was just some random person's house before, I think. Oh, a boo. Uh, just, just, just now a ghost passed right in front of me. Uh, you saw it too, didn't you? Yeah. I, I'm not the only one. Whoa, over there. That's a face. No, no, the other way. It went into the forest. Mario, this madness has to end. Will you go to the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it's my job, but I can't go. I'm too frightened of ghosts. But please, I'm begging you. Only because you asked nicely. And you're petrified by fear. <laughs> I'm going to do several other things first, though. These seeds relate to an age-old story. If you plant all four of the different colored bubble flowers, a miracle will occur. I wonder what will happen. You got a seed for me? Thank you, I'm really happy. Uh, 
There they are. Instantly adult flowers. Because that's how flowers do. Has new mail arrived? Ah, yes, Mario. Hello. Well, seems you have received some mail. Bombette. Dry, dry railroad. Here you go. Dear Miss Bombette, we write this letter as a humble request to you, the most worthy and explosive of all bombs. It's still a long time off, but later this year we will be staging an opening event for our new Dry Dry Railroad route. We feel the event would be a gala bash if we could enlist your bomb-bursting help. Crowds love fireworks. Anyway, we'll get in touch with you after your adventure ends to confirm the dates. Sincerely, Dry Dry Railroad Transportation Department. Did it say Wacka? Oh, it did. Here you go. Wacko, this is Wacka. Dr. Paracarry, Mr. Paracarry, from my place in the shadows, I always see you flying above Mount Rucked. It looks like so much fun flying on a sunny day. Tell me about it sometime. My wish to the stars is that you never fall from the sky. Wacka of Mount Rugged. Would you like to read more letters? Nah. We're all good now, I believe. I should have hit Wacka more times. Dang it. I should have stocked up. The number one thing stopping me from stocking up constantly, assuming that he's still there, is just the fact that it's such a long trip to go to that location. Because I don't think he can fast travel yet. Or ever, maybe? I don't know. I believe I can't fast travel. <clears throat> Fill my meters, boy. They don't call me Mario No Stars, they call me Mario All Stars. <laughs> Merlin of Toad Town. Yeah, I think that's the right guy. Ah, Mario, do you want just me to predict the path you should take? It will cost five coins. Is that acceptable? Nah. You don't want to be to predict the future? Alright, well. Whenever you lose your way, come to me. You require something other than blah blah blah. Oh, I have to click, to click on you here. If you want me to predict the future, talk to me from across the table. You are Merlin, correct? The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hey, hang on a moment. Another de letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Hmm? Who's it from? Hmm. Oh. My granddaughter, Merle. She recently enter entered the family business. Oof, is that so? Oh, I see. Interesting. She opened up her business at Dry Dry Outpost deep in the desert. It's located somewhere quiet, somewhere quiet off the main drag. She seems to be keeping busy. That's good to hear. Thanks so much for bringing me this letter. I'll give you this. A boom. So it's her, his granddaughter is the same is the person we met. At. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, if you say no, then he just disappears. Damn it. I think if I left the screen, he probably would have disappeared too. I think the premise is that he's... You gotta just get him when, when he's there. Well, I'm about to meet the daughter again. I'll just have to make sure I write it down. Because I, I would say process of elimination, but I don't remember what choices I picked last time. I do, I do an entire dungeon bet between the times I see him. This does strangely remind me of Odyssey a little bit. Just the kind of insistence on letting the, the character... Letting the uh, player do weird movement tech that kind of moves you around faster and stuff that isn't really necessary for playing the game, but you're like, yeah, look at me go! Makes movement more interesting than just holding down a direction all the time. 
Although it does help when I'm being chased by stuff like before. No, don't Mario, no. Oh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Anyway, bye. See you later, low-level losers. Ah, take, fine, take the coins. No! I don't want to fight them. I want to move on. Eh. I don't want to lose my coins, though. I'm... I never did learn these guys anything. I never had him tattle on his own people. Wow, it was worth nothing. No, stop it. Alright. Why can't I do this? <laughs> forgot about the fact that I'm selectively more powerful because you upgrade your boots and your hammer separately. Oh, they're disappearing. Got it. We're back. What's your name? Mario, have you been beating up lots and lots of bad guys? Uh, you didn't tell me your name. Howdy, Mario. How are you doing? You're Goompapa, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter dutifully, dutifully delivered. Or duly delivered. Have I been saying duly, du, dutily the whole time? Oh well. A postman's job is never done. Hey, thanks. Much obliged, Mr. Postal Worker. Oh, great news. Fishing is one of my hobbies, and this is from a friend who's planning a fishing trip. I can't wait. Oh. Sorry to pile work on you, but could I give you a letter? If it's at all possible for you, could you deliver this to, to uh, the a toad named Musty? He hangs out around the castle garden. I really appreciate it. Musty. I think I've met Musty before. But must we? Hello. What are your names? Oh, land sakes, Mario. Is my Goombar Goombario bothering you? He can be a real handful sometimes, so I wonder. He's back. He's back to torment me, the nightmare worm. Goombalina. Ah, God damn it! It's always long enough that I don't remember. But it's Goombaria. God, I don't care. I just don't care about their names. They all have really annoying, almost identical names, and I don't like the naming scheme. They're trying to be cute, but I just don't like dealing with it. You know what? Oh, yeah. Fine. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's hit him. I'd rather not keep losing coins, even though I want to run away. <laughs> <laughs> 